Hey y'all, so I uh, got an 8-rack video real quick. <clears throat> so I started doing 8-rack. Uh, uh, I, I should have another video with this, talking about the um, spreadsheet that I've been working on. But anyways, here's the match that I played using a deck based off the spreadsheet. Um, I keep the hand, because uh, smallpox is important. Uh, Mutavault's decent in the opener. If you have two of them for some reason, but one of them is not so great. We'll see how that works out. And uh, everything else seems to be good. Drawing a second black source is really important here, but I do have a good curve one into two, and then if I hit three, then I can uh, cast one of those. And if I don't hit three, then that means I hit probably a one casting cost spell. So either way, it's not a bad hand. I'm playing against, uh, it appears to be bug fairies. So. Uh, yeah. So uh, I do draw the one casting cost spell instead of a third, a third land, but it's fine. I'm still curving out. What's interesting here is my opponent actually helps me curve out with the Assassin's Trophy. And I draw a land. So this is going to allow me to Thoughtseize into Liliana. Um, I'm not worried about these because Lily and Smallpox can take care of them. Uh, what I don't want my opponent to do is to uh, return something and gain six life. So, <clears throat> yeah, and I'll discard my extra Lily. I'm just going to keep the Smallpox in hand because I, I know my opponent has Tassiger in hand. So and just deal incremental damage as I go. So here I finally draw uh, a rack. I'm dealing a decent amount of damage. I got a good clock going. I go ahead and go draw the rack. Um, opponent counters it. It's pretty smart to counter it, I imagine. And they're going to try to draw. I mean, they could, you know, bounce slowly, but then I just get to uh, play Lily again. So now my opponent finally drew top deck something good. It's a Jace. <clears throat> and uh, they don't want Jace to just die very quickly, so they're going to, you know, plus two Jace. Target themselves so they can try to draw something decent. Um, here, unfortunately, I do play the Brutality looking at their hand. I didn't know it was just lands. That's unfortunate. It's smart on my opponent's behalf. But now I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm not worried about Jace. Because <clears throat> Lily can take care of that. Chances are they are not going to kill Lily next turn. So I'll be able to plus Lily, then ult it, keep Lily around, and force my opponent to choose between Jace or their uh, lands. Yeah, unfortunately they do another pulse, but now I misplay there. I should have Ravens crime there. I should have Ravens crime. Um but I guess it doesn't matter. I because I forgot I had Ravens crime in the graveyard. Still not worried about the Jace. Uh they go to get a lamb back. <clears throat> Cause now what um they're gonna be running out of lands here very quickly. One, two, three, four, five. Six, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of their mana producing, eight of their mana producing lands are uh, about to be gone. Are there Jace? Yeah, again, I should have Raven's Crime there. Really should have Raven's Crime there because then I, because of this mistake, I lose my mutable. So that was dumb. Uh, what did they see on top? Shrieking Affliction. Uh, fortunately, I draw Mutavolt. So I force my opponent to make the tough choice. They keep the Jace. I play the Mutavolt. I didn't want to show my opponent that I had Mutavolt first. <clears throat> draw 
all the smallpox, get rid of that one and make him pitch a card. Pitch the other card with Lily and swing in for two at Jace now. Uh, so I go to life drain mode instead of discard because uh, I know my opponent's smart. Um, so now they have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of their mana producing lands in the graveyard. I can't have too much more. Inquisition first. Plus Lily, and then swing in. So because I have the second Lily, I can ult Lily. And then play the second one. And then make them discard or you know, kill their dude. <clears throat> yeah, and that's going to be it right there. So, uh, game two, I did not um, use any of my sideboard because my main was so good against this opponent. So I didn't side at all. Uh, I do keep the hand and bridge. I got uh, Thought Seize, which is pretty good, and I can Raven's Crime. So my plan here is turn one Thought Seize, turn two Raven's Crime, retrace, turn three bridge, and then continue on with whatever I draw. I get the unmoored ego because now that I see my opponent's hand, I realize I can kill them with their own bitter blossom. Yeah. I don't play the Urborg because I don't want to give my opponent that black mana. Trace Irvin's Crime again, force him to empty their hand. Yeah. So I'm, I'm taking damage, but I know I'm going to be all right. Now here I had a pretty good choice. Like I could uh, Affliction and gain life. That might have been the better choice here. Uh, instead, I play Lily. Lily does gain me four life. But I think the correct play might have been Affliction and gain life. So I know my opponent probably has a counter here, so I'm not I would rather have the affliction in play than the uh, bitter blossom. Uh, affliction will be a much quicker uh, affliction combined with their bitter blossom is a really quick clock. It's gonna force them to hold cards. So I lure out the counter first with my own bitter blossom, and then play the affliction. Brutality, and I know my opponent's smart, so I'm gonna life drain them. Yeah, go for the, my own Bitter Blossom, because <clears throat> that's going to force them to start, you know, trading. And I guess it doesn't matter a whole lot. Uh, I lose my guy immediately, but Smallpox is going to be good. Uh, it does decrease the clock one more turn. And it takes them off that fourth mana for a Cryptic if they draw it. Or Jace. Do I have a Raven's Crime in the graveyard? I do. But I guess it doesn't matter because they're Bitter Blossom. And that's it. Uh, my tops were these three. So still, yeah, not bad at all. And so yeah, the deck performed particularly well. Um, and yeah, I'll talk about the specific build uh, with the spreadsheet in another video.